Hi everybody, Russ of My Hammers 11. Hope you're all safe and well. For your channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you may have any time there's new content on. As also, we'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Untuck It. Check them out in the description below. We've got another episode of In Rusty Crust, because I know you'll love them. I know you'll love them. I think it's a little bit of bacon over the weekend, so I thought I'd record some and um, and, and and just show you what I'm up to more than anything. And you can go for me if you want, particularly as we come into Christmas, might have a bit more time on your hands um, at home. So... This one takes a bit of time. We're making baguettes. Oh la la. La baguette. La baguette. Um, it's on the crunch, as um, that girl said in Ratatouille. Uh, and that's what we do. We're really, really simple. So here we go. Um, it just takes time with this one. So we've got four four basic ingredients. We've got bread flour. We've got uh, salt. We've got yeast. And we've got water. That is all we've got. Simples. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix in the uh the the salt and all the all the ingredients obviously we put the yeast on one side we put the wall we put the uh, salt on the other side we put three quarters of, of the water in and then we start stirring it or mixing it by hand or k-mix if you got it and then we're going to creep gently put in that full quarter of water as we're going through after about five or six minutes we come up with this which is a quite a sticky dough you can see i'm sort of struggling to get it off the dough hook but it's quite a sticky dough we end up with so that's about five or six minutes in and we want to keep as much of air we don't want to handle it as much as possible we'll try and keep it it's in itself um so we've got here a square sort of plastic tupperware dish which i've just greased with a bit of um oil any type of dish will do but obviously a square one's better because it keeps the shape of the of the um of the, of the dough so it's a bit easier and we scrape this out i couldn't find my, my pastry scraper i don't know why i, to, I think i'll find it later on but we're going to scrape all of this into this little tub and that's going to help us proof it but also it's going to maintain the shape of the of the rectangles which is in essence what the baguette looks like so we can put it in you'll see you've got the, the 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 it's been lightly oiled as well and then we've got we'll push it all out so it's into a, a, a sort of an oblong shape we put the top on it and we're going to leave it there for about an hour an hour and a half until it's doubled in size um it will do that as i said in about an hour or so after that after now we're going to dredge our board with flour and then we're going to tip out our dough you see it's doubled in size nicely so we're going to tip that bad boy out and basically we're gonna um we're gonna bait not not knock it as much air out as, as we can we'll try and keep as much air of it as possible usually with dough you want to knock it out don't you and push the air out but here we don't because you want to get these air holes because that's what gives it sort of the irregular sort of crumb in terms of when you open a, a good baguette in it it's sort of you get these big holes in it air holes that's what we're doing here so i'm trying to not handle it uh, that much at all and now i found a scraper you'll be pleased to know and i'm going to crack this into four um you can do it more scientifically and wait if you want, but nah, it makes it more rustic in it. So I'm going to smash it into four. So we've got those four sort of, and we could probably use it as a rolls if you really wanted to, as bread rolls, be quite big bread rolls, but you could do. Um, and then what I'm going to do is shape them, shape them into a sausage, basically. So I flatten it out, and there's loads of ways you can do it. This is how I do it. Flatten it out into a little rectangle. I roll it up, and then I use the weight of my hands and just squeeze it out so just rolling it gently until we get about 30 centimeters i'd say um in terms of that as a shape um i try not to handle it as much as possible in terms of squeezing it. i'm just literally rolling the edge and if there's any imperfections like there's a crease or whatever that's great because that's banging because that will basically be a nice crust and it does look a bit like a poo to be honest i'll be honest um then what we need is now i've got a fancy tray you don't need this you can get some baking pa paper and it's grease grease with paper and just fold it in half and like so you've got these little pleats we're going to basically cover them um I've made four, but I've only got three in here. Uh, and we cover it with a tea towel and leave it for about an hour, an hour and a half, until it's doubled in size. Or And also, if you press it, it will spring back. That's when you know it's ready. Right, so after now, you can see it puffed up a bit. That bit in the middle, that little crust there, that's going to crust up nicely, be lovely. I'm going to slash it with a really, really sharp knife. Four slashes in the middle. One, two, three, four. This makes the air... Um, escape out so it doesn't sort of break or anything and then i preheated my oven uh, and i put a baking tray in the bottom this was done pretty much when i started doing the second proof um and what i'm going to do is put the oh, live action shot as we're speaking um we're going to put the um, baguettes in the top right at the top 
and then we're going to pull out the baking tray at the bottom and i'm going to fill it full of water might you want i mean i've used hot water you might want to use ice it doesn't really matter anything to create some steam um and that's what's going to give it the crust like the really chewy crust it's a bit like with the when we did the bagels when we pre-boiled them it's in essence sort of, sort of the same thing really um but not to as much degree as actually boiling them um so we're going to put that in the bottom and then nice my nice clean oven and then we're going to put it on about 15 minutes check after 15 minutes if it's not still not brown enough leave it for another 10 minutes or whatever it's up to you um you can go as dark as you want with these um and then after 15 minutes he takes them out of the um the oven he says with and that's what we get nice looking baguettes really nice they're going to be i'm going to leave them to cool down a bit um because otherwise we absolutely boiling hot um you could put sprinkle a little bit of flour on them or we could put sesame seeds or whatever and they'll look nice so look we've got here and we'll see you know we've got a nice um nice crunch and you see all that sort of um all those holes and stuff in the middle it can be really really nice to eat with a bit of butter so and that's it guys i know it takes a little bit of time i appreciate it but it's really really worth it and it's lovely and it's chewy and oh over christmas nice bit of turkey in there oh yes very nice bit of turkey and mayonnaise lovely um anyway i hope you enjoyed it as always take care everyone like share comment subscribe all that type of stuff and until next time um i'm russ take care wash those hands come in your wines and we'll see you again very very soon take care everyone Bye bye